In this problem, we're asked to balance the redox reaction below in basic solution. In this redox reaction, we have the hypochlorite ion, ClO- reacting with chromium hydroxide ion to produce the chromate ion, CrO42- and the chloride ion, Cl-. We begin by assigning oxidation states. In this case, we'll assume that the oxide ion is minus two, which means that for ClO-, the chlorine has to have an oxidation state of plus one in order to have an overall minus one charge on this ion. For CrOH4 with an overall negative one charge, if we assume each oxygen is negative two and each hydrogen is plus one, then the chromium in this ion has to have an oxidation state of plus three. On the product side, since chromate has an overall charge of minus two, and each oxygen is minus two, then the chromium has to have an oxidation state of plus six. The chloride ion would simply have an oxidation state of minus one. We can now break the redox reaction into its two half reactions. In one half reaction, we'll have ClO- minus on the reactant side and Cl- minus on the product side. We notice that this is the reduction half reaction because the Cl is changing from plus one to minus one, which means it's decreasing its oxidation state and is reduced. The other half reaction will be CrOH4 with a negative charge going to CrO4 two minus. In this half reaction, the chromium is changing from a plus three to a plus six oxidation state, and this increase in oxidation state indicates that this is an oxidation half reaction. We're now ready to balance the atoms in each half reaction. Let's begin with a reduction half reaction. We see one chlorine atom on each side, and we have one oxygen on the reactant side. We can balance the oxygen by adding a water molecule to the product side. Now we have one oxygen on each side of the reaction, but now we have two hydrogens on the product side. We can balance the hydrogens by adding two H plus ions to the reactant side. However, since this is in basic solution, we have to add one hydroxide ion for every hydrogen ion that's present, and those hydroxide ions have to be added to both sides of the equation. So in this case, we'll add two hydroxides to the reactant side, two hydroxides to the product side, and now we have one chlorine, three oxygens, and four hydrogens on each side of the reduction half reaction. In order to balance the oxidation half reaction, the chromiums are already balanced, and we have four oxygens on each side, but we have four hydrogens on the reactant side and no hydrogens on the product side. We'll balance the hydrogens by adding four H plus to the product side, but again, since this is a basic solution, we'll have to neutralize the hydrogen ions by adding four hydroxides to each side of the equation. Now that we've balanced the atoms in each half reaction, we'll have to balance each half reaction for charge. In the reduction half reaction, we see that we have an overall charge of minus one on the reactant side and minus three on the product side. That means that we'll need to add two electrons to the reactant side over the reduction reaction. For the oxidation half reaction, we have an overall charge of minus five on the reactant side and an overall charge of minus two on the product side, which means that we'll have to add three electrons to the product side of the oxidation half reaction. Now we can balance the two half reactions for electrons. Since we have two electrons in the reduction reaction and three electrons in the oxidation half reaction, we can multiply each half reaction by the number of electrons in the opposite half reaction. This gives us, for the reduction half reaction, six electrons plus six hydroxide ions plus six hydronium ions plus three ClO- ions produces three chloride ions plus three water molecules plus six hydroxide ions. For the oxidation half reaction, this would give us eight hydroxide ions plus two CrOH4 ions producing two chromate ions and eight hydrogen ions and eight hydroxide ions and six electrons. Now we could add these two half reactions together. 
In this case, the first thing to cancel out would be the six electrons on the reactant side of the reduction half reaction and the product side of the oxidation half reaction. We can also begin combining hydroxides and hydronium ions wherever they appear on the same side of the equation together. In the reduction half reaction, we have six hydroxides and six hy hydrogen ions on the reactant side, so we can turn that into six waters. In the oxidation half reaction, we have eight hydrogen ions and eight hydroxides on the product side, so we could change that into eight water molecules. Once we've done that, the six water molecules on the reactant side of the reduction reaction can cancel six of the eight water molecules on the product side of the oxidation half reaction, leaving two water molecules on the product side. We also have six hydroxide ions on the product side of the reduction half reaction and eight hydroxide ions on the reactant side of the oxidation half reaction. So once we cancel out those six, that'll leave two extra hydroxide ions on the reactant side of the oxidation half reaction. Once we've canceled everything out, we'll end up with three ClO- in the aqueous phase, plus two hydroxide ions in the aqueous phase, plus two chromium hydroxide ions in the aqueous phase, which produce three chloride ions in the aqueous phase, plus five waters in the liquid phase, plus two chromate ions in the aqueous phase. After watching this video, you should be able to balance redox reactions in basic solution by remembering to add hydroxides to neutralize any hydronium ions that are present in the oxidation or reduction half reactions.